We are waiting for the Space Shuttle Columbia to land, and we are going to check in with our correspondent, Tony Clark, to bring us up on, on, on that. Tony? Donna, the landing is less than two minutes away. Here you see a live shot of the Shuttle Columbia as it heads towards Edwards Air Force Base, the concrete runway 22. NASA chose Edwards this morning uh, over the Kennedy Space Center because of low clouds and moisture in the air at the Kennedy Space Center. NASA prefers to, uh, to land at Kennedy rather than Edwards, but uh, because of the weather and a decision uh, not to wait until tomorrow because of a forecast of worse weather at the Kennedy Space Center tomorrow, uh, the decision was made to come in, bring this 10-day mission to an end at Edwards Air Force Base. The decision to go to Edwards adds about a million dollars to the cost of transporting the shuttle back to the Kennedy Space Center. It also delays scientists getting some of the data inside the uh, Space Lab module. We're just about uh, 40 seconds or so from landing. Let's listen in to NASA commentator Kyle Herring. The altitude is 4,300 feet. Range, two nautical miles. <coughs> Landing gear is down and locked. Main gear touchdown. And nose gear touchdown. Columbia rolling out on runway 22 at Edwards Air Force Base in California on the 160th orbit of the mission after traveling 4.1 million miles. Roger Bill Coleman, who house in Columbia. Congratulations on a very successful international mission. There's a lot of folks all around the world that are very excited about the knowledge gained during your mission. Congratulations. And that brings to an end the 55th shuttle mission, the uh, Welcome in German. This is a German-sponsored mission. Germany's been waiting eight years for this flight. It was originally scheduled uh, for uh, 1988, and uh, Let me it's, Houston, uh, or 885, go rather. And uh, no the Germans also waited several times for this launch. Shuttle sure, Columbia was delayed eight, several eight, times three. because of equipment problems. But once they got into the orbit, the shuttle performed very well. There were only some minor irritants. The uh, mission was going so well, the energy was conserved that they were able to extend the mission by a day, give German scientists an extra day of science as they went through some 88 experiments on board the shuttle Columbia. It will take the astronauts about an hour or so before they get out of their uh, launch and entry suits, uh, kind of get their land legs adjusted. One of the, the experiments on this was to try and see how the human body relates uh, and reacts to weightlessness. And in past uh, experiences, past shuttle flights, it's, it's taken a few, few minutes, uh, sometimes up to an hour, for the astronauts to, to kind of get their land legs. And so we will be watching them as they come out, and we will bring you more on this flight a little bit later today. I'm Tony Clark, CNN Center. Donna?